Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing my Ipsy bag for December. That is why some items on my face are uh, not on. But yeah, so I will be doing like a try on one and kind of um, just going through the bag and then I will check in at the end of the day and see how the products actually lasted. Alright, so the first two things that I actually got in my bag were face masks and they were from Pure Lisi. And I got the coconut and rice nourishing one and the green tea and ginger rejuvenating one. So I already did use the coconut and rice for the nourishing one and it was really nice. It did kind of like sting my eyes a little but um, that went away after like a minute and I will try this one later but yeah these were um, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be really good. I did like this one even though at first it did kind of sting my eyes. And as in every Ipsy bag, it does come with one of these cards. And this one is Snow Globe, it says on it. So it just says like things about um, how it's cold and there's just like, uh, like five products that of course they chose to kind of help you during the winter months, like those face masks and such. So the next item that I did get is this, um, I'm guessing it's like a highlight brush because it's too big to really be anything else. So I'm going to apply my highlight with it and we're going to see how it compares to the other brush that I really like, which is this one. But they do have a similar shape. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with my Smashbox, um, the Spotlight Palette and Pearl that Casey Holmes did a collaboration with. And I'm just going to go in with the lightest and this middle shade. So I did think it worked pretty well, so I do like the brush, and it does just like look like that as like the two little gems. It kind of looks similar to the brush I last got, so it's the same brand as the last one that I did get, which is this one, which also has the two little gems in it, but this brush does uh, work a lot better. I don't really use this one for too much just because it's not really rounded. It's more of a hard kind of brush. Alright, so moving on to the next product. I am just going to put on this eyeshadow. So it's from City Color Cosmetics and it says it's a similar shadow and it's um, in the shade It's a Girl. So I did kind of just do the um, shadow crease for my eyes and I'm just going to apply this with my finger for first. Alright, so that is how it's looking on the lid. Um, it's okay. I don't really care much for the shade, honestly, but it's a good shadow, so I'm going to put on some liner and I will be back. Alright, so now that I have most of my eye makeup on, I am going to do the last thing, which is actually eyeliner. And so I did already put a navy blue because I did get a navy blue eyeliner. And this is from NYX, and it's the fall black, and it's in midnight, actually. So I'm just going to apply it in my eye and see how that goes. Alright, so that is what it looks like on the inner eye. It is... Um, a little bit light, so it's a, it's decently pigmented, but it's definitely not like the most pigmented thing. Like the ones from Marc Jacobs and um, Urban Decay are a lot more pigmented, but this is decent, so we are going to see how it wears. And I usually do use the Urban Decay one in black, so we will kind of compare um, how long this lasts versus like an Urban Decay one, which would be just a little bit more money. And finally, I have a Smashbox lipstick, and this is in B Legendary, and oh no, it's one of their B Legendary lipsticks in 
the shade Legendary. So it is their red color and I know it doesn't really match but we are still going to see how this ends up wearing. that is what it looks like on and it's kind of picking up orange actually on camera but it's definitely more of a like berry red but yeah so it kind of matches but we're just gonna see how it lasts throughout the day it's definitely not like a matte it's definitely like a satin kind of a glossy look so yeah um it is 4 50 4 49 in the morning I will see you guys at the end of the night. Alright, so I am back here at the end of the night. So, I forgot my phone in the other room, but it's like around 9.34ish. But, yeah, so the eyeshadow did crease a bit. You can kind of tell the separation that wasn't there before. But the eyeliner did actually pretty good. There are, you know, still like a little bit of chunks missing and it's not as smooth as when I first applied it, but it's still there and it didn't really collect too much in my inner corners, just a little bit, so that is also good. Um, the next thing was the lipstick, and the lipstick, I was just okay. It definitely does kind of, since it isn't like a, a full matte, it's that satin color, it did kind of get on my foundation when I was eating and it it's not like a transfer proof kind of lipstick so I would say if you're like just going out for to do some errands or something and you just want a lipstick or maybe it's the Christmas and it's Christmas and you're like unboxing things and such I think it would be fine for that but it's definitely not gonna last through food or any of that the brush I already gave my final thoughts earlier since it is a brush but I do like it for highlight, and it is, isn't is super soft, but it's decently soft, and I do like the way it looks. I kind of wish I could just have, like, the whole set because I love purple, but I do like the brush. All right, and the last things are the masks, and I do really like the masks. I am going to put this one on probably a couple days from now, but so far, uh, it's, it's a sheet mask. Unless it's not super saturated, which these are super saturated, they are... Pretty good and it does help with like the hydration hydration and such. Alrighty, so that is my Ipsy bag for the month. It did come in this little kind of uh, silvery and then it has teal inside and I do actually really like this bag. It's one of my, it's really simple but it's definitely one of the more ones that I do like that I've been getting recently. So the bag is nice. The sparkles do come off though. If you kind of like rub on it, you can just see them fall. So I wish it was kind of covered so that the sparkles wouldn't come off. So that is the end of this video. If you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.